Welcome to Purdue University. Welcome to the School of Aviation Transportation Technology. We are really happy that you spent some time with us today. Uh, my name is Naveen Breen. I'm a senior in the professional flight program, and I'll let my colleague introduce himself as well. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Uh, my name is Rani Farfan. I'm from Guatemala, and I'm an international student, a sophomore here in professional flight as well. So first we'd like to talk about our airport uh, that you'll also see on our virtual tour. Uh, in 1930, our Purdue airport consisted of a small dirt runway uh, and a windsock. Purdue was the first uh, school to offer aviation training for college credit and we were the first to have a full flight program. Obviously we've come a long way since then and we'd like to share with you some of the highlights of our program. Obviously, times have changed a lot since then. Now our airport offers tons of different things. We have an FBO, which is actually a fixed base of operations. We have tons of uh, labs for our unmanned aerial systems students and our aeronautical engineering technology students. And we offer them all kinds of research on the airport as well. On top of that, for our flight operations students, we also have the fleet here stationed in this airport, as well as a simulator building with all kinds of brand new technology for our students. Our airport is on campus, uh, just a short cross from main campus. Though the airport is owned by the university, it is a public airport. We have transient aircraft that come through here all, all the time, and uh, we do have full services for any aircraft that choose to come in. We are the second busiest airport in the state of Indiana behind Indianapolis International. So why choose Purdue University? It's got a rich 150-year history. Everyone knows Purdue. Obviously, everyone's heard of it. Uh, not only throughout its academic history and all of the achievements it's made, but also by its Big Ten sports and atmosphere, which is honestly part of the reason why I'm here. We also have tons of or, uh, over a thousand student organizations and that number just keeps growing. And we have very close relationships with the current industry and even our own university-owned airport and fleet. When I was making my college decision, uh, it was by far not an easy decision. I was looking at all kinds of different criteria. Uh, in high school, I came from very small class sizes, so uh, it was intimidating to come to a school with 45,000 undergraduates. That was where I kind of found a home in the School of Aviation Technology. Although we come from a big campus and we have classes with over 700 people uh, on main campus, the School of Aviation has a very small class size. Some of your biggest classes in the School of Aviation are going to be around 50 people. Uh, hearing that through this tour really helped me and it gave me peace of mind that I would definitely be able to find my place and adjust here at Purdue. What kind of brought you here, Ronnie? Uh, pretty much the same things. Uh, I come from a very small high school too. Uh, only about 100 people in my graduating class. So. Coming into the school of uh, coming into Purdue at first was actually very terrifying to me. <laughs> I thought I would never make any friends, but uh, guess what? It's actually a very tight knit community as well over here, and you get to know everyone on a deeper personal level. And I've been able to make connections since my freshman year, especially when I needed more guidance from my uh, current uh, seniors and juniors. And uh, I've been able to really uh, find my community here. That's great. Uh, I think I speak for both of us when I say that we're both very happy with our college decision. Absolutely. Uh, you get the Big Ten atmosphere and you get the close community in the School of Aviation. So that brings us to the School of Aviation Tra Transportation Technology. That's a tongue twister. Uh, <laughs> the School of Aviation Transportation Technology falls under the Polytechnic Institute, one of 11 colleges uh, here at Purdue. Under the Polytechnic Institute, there are seven or six different academic schools and we are the, one of them. In the School of Aviation, Aviation Transportation Technology, we offer seven Bachelors of Science degrees, as well as Masters in Aerospace, uh, aerospace Management and PhD degrees as well. Here at the School of Aviation, we offer, like he said, seven different majors. There's Aeronautical Engineering Technology, Aviation Management, Aerospace Financial Analysis, Airline Management and Operations, Airport Management and Operations, Unmanned Aerial Systems, and Professional Flight. Our graduate majors actually consist of uh, the Aviation and Aerospace Management and the PhD in Aviation Technology and Management. Would you like to talk about uh, a little bit about our AET program? I'd love to. Within the AET program, or the Aeronautical Engineering Technology program, uh, we like to highlight two main points. The first being that our program is ABET accredited. What that means is that our program is subject to the same accreditation that the College of Engineering goes through. That gives our students the flexibility to operate in an engineering capacity or in a practical capacity, which leads us into our next point. The AET program also offers, offers students the opportunity to earn their Part 147 A and P certification. That means that our students can go out into industry with an engineering experience and work hands-on with planes. Our main difference between the College of Engineering and the School of Aviation is that 
our students get much more hands-on experience as opposed to the theoretical experience that you'd get in an engineering degree. How about our management programs, Ronnie? Uh, awesome. So we have our aviation management program, which is actually four degrees. Uh, you can either major in aviation management, which is just an umbrella of all of them, or you can even specialize in financial analysis, uh, airline management and operations, or even airport management and operations. Uh, these management uh, courses all take place here in the airport, and they have a broad spectrum of things that the student will uh, learn how to uh, deal with the aviation industry in and uh, they have a very big focus on safety as well. In addition to our AET and management programs, we also offer programs in unmanned aerial systems and professional flight technology. Unmanned aerial systems is still in its infancy here at Purdue. Uh, it started when I was a freshman. That program is focused on the rapidly changing industry of drones. Uh, those of you that are familiar with it understand that they are presenting a huge opportunity uh, for commercial use as well as package delivery with Amazon or even medical supplies. The UAS program is focused again on hands-on experience just like the rest of the programs in the School of Aviation. Your very first class you take as a, US major, as a UAS major uh, will be building a drone, flying it, and learning how to operate it. In addition to focusing on drones, we focus on the system as a whole, the certifications needed, and what it looks like when you expand it into a commercial industry. Would you like to talk about our flight program, Ronnie? Our professional flight program over here at Purdue University uh, is actually accredited under Part 141, which basically means that uh, in order to get your airline transport pilot certification, instead of needing the required 1,500 hours uh, by most other programs, you will actually only need 1,000 hours. This cuts you off on 500 hours of time, which actually puts you in the industry about one to two years before most other people and cuts you off on a lot of time, saves you a lot of time and money. Um, another great thing about our professional flight program is that we offer level D simulator experience. Uh, our, our simulators are brand new and they're the top notch technology. And level D simulators are actually as, almost as real as the, as the actual aircraft itself. They're full motion, so the whole thing moves as a whole and it can even, uh, they can even provide uh, type certification in, that, in the actual aircraft. Finally, our professional flight program is offered as a degree in three, which means that uh, if someone wanted to just spend three years in college getting this degree, it is possible. Uh, they would have to stay some summers uh, and work on some courses through, uh, there, and their planning uh, is done a little less, with a little less flexibility, but the degree in three is possible that way. In addition to our seven bachelor's programs, we also offer graduate programs uh, and PhD programs. We like to highlight our graduate programs because there are three different ways that the School of Aviation Transportation Technology offers these. The first being the traditional program where you come to class uh, in addition to your undergraduate work after you've graduated. The second is our distance education program. After your four years, if you choose to go out into industry and you still want to pursue your master's, we allow that. Uh, the distance education program allows you to be completely virtual. You can submit all your papers and assignments via our learning management systems online or through email. The final way that we offer our master's program, which is much more popular with our professional flight students, is our 3 plus 2 program. This allows our professional flight students and other students in the School of Aviation Transportation Technology to earn their bachelor's and master's degrees in five years. The way this works is their first three years of undergrad are, are as normal. They would perform the same undergraduate coursework uh, as everybody else. During their fourth year, their senior year in, the, in their uh, undergrad, they would begin working on graduate coursework to start that master's degree. Once they graduate from undergrad, they have one year remaining uh, to finish their graduate degree. A lot of students in the professional flight program particularly choose this option. They use that extra year to get their flight hours and get that 1,000 hours that Ronnie mentioned. We also have a PhD program, uh, if you are so inclined. Um, so we talked about the professional flight program. Here we have uh, a lot of different uh, things that our students get to train in. Uh, as a professional st uh, flight student, the student will start their private and commercial training in the Piper Archer. Then they will move on to the Piper Arrow for more of their commercial training and instrument training. Then they will move on to the Piper Seminole for more multi-engine training. And then we even have all kinds of other uh, aircraft and equipment for them to get training in, such as our Cirrus SR-22, our high-performance aircraft, our Super Decathlon, which is our aer aerobatic aircraft, and our, some of our popular simulators include our Boeing 737 NG simulator, our Airbus A320 simulator, which are two of the most common aircraft in the industry, 
And finally, we have our Hawker 900 XP Level D Full Motion Flight Simulator. After students pursue their degree here uh, through all of our various technology, now it's time to get a job, right? Many students are focused on getting that job when they graduate. Uh, that first job is very crucial to get your foot in the door in industry. During your time here as an undergrad, the university holds several career fairs, not just within the School of Aviation, but within Purdue as a whole. The School of Aviation has several working relationships with many of the big companies, including Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and a lot of the major airlines. This career fair is the opportunity for you to get your foot in the door with a lot of these recruiters. A lot of these recruiters are the same all four years here, so uh, if you start talking to them as a freshman, that's an excellent way to start meeting them. By the time you're looking for an internship, your junior, senior year, you'll already have that working relationship with them. The very nice thing about that is that I've actually gone to career fairs myself and I've been very scared to talk about talk to all these professionals very high up in the industry, but they're very nice, very personable people. Uh, they're always the same people coming back. You can build a very close relationship with them. And if you're a part of student organizations, you can even develop a close enough relationship so that you can do things for your uh, student organization, such as trips uh, with those companies and all kinds of other opportunities. Absolutely. In addition to these connections with industry, the School of Aviation also offers some uh, cadet programs or bridge agreements with some of the airlines, specifically for our flight majors. What these cadet programs are, are a way to get your foot in the door with a regional airline without ever leaving Purdue University. The industry is in a great time right now. It is booming and they are looking for all kinds of new pilots. The pilot shortage is real and it is here. As a result, these regional airlines are recruiting like crazy. They need all kinds of pilots, and so they've started offering what are called cadet programs. Typically during your junior, senior year, if you choose to pursue your Certified Flight Instructor Rating, or CFI, uh, particularly with Envoy, you can become a, an employee for them and still be instructing here for the university. By becoming an employee for Envoy, you begin to accrue seniority, even though you're not actually uh, flying for them. On top of this, they offer tuition reimbursement plans which, which can help offset student debt as well as the cost of attendance. These cadet programs are popping up every day. We get a new program almost every day uh, and they are really good ways to get your foot in the door with industry but without ever leaving Purdue. Another great thing about the School of Aviation is that it actually offers all kinds of student leadership uh, programs. As I mentioned before, there's over a thousand uh, student organizations here at Purdue. A lot of those take place here in the aviation technology world. Uh, some of the uh, more prominent ones are uh, Aviation Ambassadors, which is actually us. We like to give tours to people and show prospective students around, as well as industry leaders of what our program consists of. Um, we also have the flight team, the air race team, the Women in Aviation Club. We also have Purdue Professional Pilots, Aviation Student Council. I could keep going. There's a ton of these. Uh, and they offer all they all offer different kinds of benefits. Uh, the flight team, not only do you get to participate on ground events and do all kinds of different competitive events, you also get to fly aircraft and do uh, participate in landings competitions. For us in Aviation Ambassadors, I know we've gone to uh, a bunch of different places. Last year, we actually got to tour around Houston. Uh, Envoy sent us down there. They brought their own E-175 over here, and we went there as if it were almost our private jet. It was super fun. And we even uh, get uh, the opportunity to fly some of our own uh, aircraft over to the Oshkosh, which is the largest aircraft convention probably in the world. And um, we get to uh, show off our program over there. Student organizations are also a great way to get involved with like-minded students from other universities. Speaking for the flight team specifically, uh, we see company recruiters come out to our competitions and we also get to mingle with all the other schools. With the aviation industry, as small as it is, there's a really good chance that you're going to be sitting in a cockpit with somebody from one of these other schools. It's a great way to start meeting other people from other programs, uh, and it's an excellent opportunity as well for recruiters. All right, well, thank you for uh, listening to our presentation. Uh, hopefully, we can move on to our video tour over here so we can show you guys our facilities and what we're all made of here at the School of Aviation. Absolutely. We appreciate you spending some time with us. Thank you from the School of Aviation Transportation Technology.